In this tutorial, we are going to create a static mesh object to put onto our island. And I want to select the top part of the tree because we need to add a vicious engine texture. So I'm going to right click on it and go to convert to editable poly. Okay, with the editable poly selected, click on this tool. So we're going to use the shift key hold the shift key down and select everything that we want to be green. And once you think you got everything that you want, Press the M key to open the material editor. We're going to make a vicious engine material. And we want to choose something that will look like the leaves. I'm just going to use the grass jake that we had used before. Of course, that's going to end up blending in with the grass a lot, so you probably want something darker. So, with surface of none, we're going to drag and drop that onto there. We want to hold the shift key down again and select everything. That'll actually switch around everything that we have selected. So now we have only the tree trunk selected. And again, we're going to add a VE material. And I'm just going to use the default one for their wood. And, if you're the and for this, I do want a surface. I don't want the person to be able to run right through it. So I'm going to use S-Room Collision and then I'm going to drag and drop that onto my object. And I'm going to go ahead and close this and click off. Now it looks like the no material has been added, but if we were to actually go to rendering and click render, you can see there that you've got the green and the brown, so it, it, it will render correctly. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go to the Utilities tab and to the VE Exporter. And we want to right click on Static Mesh Roots and add a Static Mesh Root. And we can go ahead and close this for now. Let's go to the Select by Name tool and choose our Static Mesh. And say Select. We're going to change the name of that to OBJ underscore Elm. That's the type of tree I got. And our actual object also has a name. It's called skpb4.01. We could change that and it probably would make sense too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going to call it the visible geometry. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And you can actually see this huge cube. If I select that, that is our OBJ Elm. So that is our mesh root. We want to make that a lot smaller. So I'm going to the Modify tab. And right now it's 256 meters. That's just really huge. So I'm going to change this to, let's say, about 10 meters by 10 meters by 10 meters. Now you can see it there. And so the height needs to be a little bit taller. Let's make that 18. And you can see in this view that's good, in this view that's good. And we can probably zoom in in this view. So it's completely covering it up. And if I zoom out a little bit in this one, you can see it's kind of twice as big. But we want the uh, star, the little um, middle part of the mesh root, to be at the bottom of the tree so that when we put it into the vicious engine and we hit the D key to drop it, it'll drop down to right there. So now we want to link those together. So with the select by name tool, we're going to click on the visible geometry and click select. So that's selected. Then we're going to click the link tool and then click back on the select by name and click on OBG Elm and now we're going to click on link. That will link those two together. Now I'm going to the Utilities tab and opening the exporter and there's my OBJ Elm. I'm going to right click on that and say export and 
you'll see if it did it correctly, I add two materials. Total triangles is 2,030. So it's, it's probably about twice as many triangles as I really wanted to have. So let's close this and open the Vicious Engine. I'm going to my physics demo map. That's where I have my island. To put in my tree, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the map. And you'll see under here for the physics demo map that you'll have static instances. I'm going to click on edit and then create. And we are going to call this obj underscore elm and if we click on the plus sign you'll see obj elm there and having the obj elm as your template um, is going to be really useful in making small changes to some of the trees and not others but right now we have a static instance of obj elm and it is actually on the map if you go to the select by name tool you'll see OBJ Elm, click select, and if you don't see it, you can click on the zoom extends all, and all of a sudden it zooms into that tree. Um, it's still kind of hard to tell where it's sitting, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit, so it's kind of underneath the grass area there. I'm going to zoom out here also. you can really tell where it is right now. If you click on the transform tool, you can move it over. You can move it up as high as you want it. And what I'm trying to do is move it to right where my character is. My character is right there. That's Gwen. And so we want to keep moving it until I'm right about where she is. And actually, once you get it close to her, you can click the Zoom Extents All, and that'll zoom into all your views. And so you can see it there. And use my Transform tool again. If I lift it above the ground and press the D key, that drops it to the ground. So if I click Run, click OK. And if I try to run into the tree, or trying to run through the tree, it doesn't let me. I'm not able to run through the tree. I can run around it, but not through it. Then I can also look up at the tree. 